Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. That's me. I'm here today to sh share some tips about supporting all learners when you use Google Docs. Now, the very first one, when you have students entering into a Google Doc, keyboarding, typing can be challenging, but there's also voice typing. So let's just do that real quick. We'll use the tools menu and go to voice typing and then just click on the microphone to speak. This is voice typing period. I am doing this in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, period. And let's put that away. And so as you can see, I actually have a little editing to do, right? And so and it actually does it for me. It gives me a suggestion. How cool is that? Now I'll actually skip translate for a second to show you that under tools, you're going to have, oops, sorry, you're going to have suggested edits like you just had there. And you're also going to have spelling and grammar. How cool is that? That really helps support learners to get all the grammar and all that stuff correct. So check that one off the list. Translate. So you're working with English learners, right? You can translate a doc. Again, the tools menu. This tools menu in Google Docs is very powerful. So we go there and we go to translate document. And I will choose, let's just say I'll choose Armenian and we'll hit translate and it creates a new version of the document in that language. And there it is. Oh, it looks like it's conveying the uh, image I put in there too. How cool is that? Let's keep going. Accessibility settings. So accessibility settings are gonna be for your students who use screen readers. Uh, it's under, again, under the tools menu, go to accessibility settings and you have screen reader support, you got braille support, screen magnifier support, all that good stuff. So if you have students who need those, that's where you get it in Google Docs. And lastly, this font here, this is the Lexend font. Lexend was developed by Google with some partners to help people with fluency. Basically saying, if, you, if we design a font a certain way, can we improve fluency? And they figured out, they feel like they figured out how to do it. This here is Lexend Deca, which is like as, as tight as fonts traditionally are, but it goes all the way to Lexend Zeta. And look what happens when I do Lexend Zeta. Uh, those characters are socially distancing, aren't they, right? And so you can let students choose, but you know, in the gamut, the range of Lex and Deca to Lex and Zeta. Where do you get that? How do you do that? You go to more fonts here and just search for Lex and, and you get it. Um, so those are some great tools to be inclusive and help learners when they use Google Docs. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.